Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to do a video on uh, my four-wheeler. I'm not sure what model it is. It's definitely an older model. As you can tell because of the headlights. It's pretty old. Uh, it is a Kawasaki Bayou 220. Um, well, yeah, it's a Kawasaki Bayou 220. It's got the back rack taped on with like one bulb in it. It's pretty cool though. Um, yeah, pretty nice. If you take off the back seat here, hold on, give me a sec. If you take the back seat off here, you'll you'll see um get your filter here. There is no battery actually, so I do not run it off the battery. Um my battery cables broke not too long ago and I had to find some way to actually be able to ride it. Which is probably not the safe way to ride it without using a battery. But, you know, you gotta make do before you can actually buy something. Um, well, it, I do have to use this pull start, like I said, because it does not start off the button, which would be right there. Uh, you pull it to start, you turn this thing all the way down, that way it lets fuel into the fuel lines and stuff to run to the engine and uh i guess i'll start it for you guys let you hear how it runs it runs pretty smooth actually not have a battery in it so hold on so if you'll just give me a second here turn that on turn that on and the key you still have to use it turn it on for some reason i don't know why Give me a second, let me start it, and I'll be right back. And as you guys can tell, I just pull started it, and it is running. Like I said, it's not the smoothest running because it doesn't have a battery, and I sometimes other mornings. One thing I do need to get fixed though is the exhaust. I mean, it's really bad. It's really old. It's held on by like one bolt. And if you go on this side, you'll hear a really weird clicking noise. Oh, it's coming from the spark plug. Oh, it's got the spark plug loose. And one other thing. Your gear shifter is right there too. And um which is really weird is if you get on it, since there is no battery, it does not say neutral and reverse, which that would be neutral and that would be reverse. On the older models, what you gotta do is uh, hold the hold your right brake down like that. And to put it in reverse, you turn this knob once, you shift down, and it is in reverse. So. Oh, yeah. As you can tell, it is in reverse. And what I usually do, if you want to put it in first, I just skip up one instead, just slowly. So it didn't do it that time, but and then one more time from that, neutral is right there, and then up one is first, and then it'll go, and then so on and so on. All the way to the which it has fifth gear. Oh, 
Oh, right. Down is first. I just ran over that bush. And right here is one of the little pits I made. So hold on, let me show you this real quick. This little pit right here. Oh god. Yeah, usually when it rains like it did yesterday, it was full of mud and water, which makes it quite fun because it's just really fun, you know. Can you tell? I got tracks everywhere where I've been riding through here. This is the garden area and our barn, of course. And I just ride through here all the time. You know, it's pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to take you back to the house. Like I said, it is a Bayou 220. It's not It's not the biggest. It's a nice little area. Kawasaki's the best. I don't prefer Honda or Suzuki, but Suzuki's better. Kawasaki and Suzuki. And if you have a Honda, I'm not saying it's a bad four-wheeler. It's just what I like. Not a big fan of Honda though. I don't know why, I just have things. Just don't like. I will pretty soon, we'll be getting a camera stand and we will be going in the woods. I will be doing new videos almost every other day. So, so if you like and subscribe, then you will be updated on those videos. Give me a second here. And then for your parking brake, you just hold the brake down and that little lever. Oh, hold on. Pull it down on really tight. Not lever. God, I can't do it. There you go. And then it'll lock in and it won't roll. So. That's the good part. So, yeah, I had to... What I'd done with it is I just messed around with the wires until I got it where it would start. And then I just taped them up that way. But until I get a, a battery and a battery harness, then this is what it's like. Actually get back a little bit where you can see it. So, this is a Kawasaki Bayou 220. It's the older model, because on the newer ones, it's got one headlight, one tail light, I mean, that would usually be like right here, instead of one, two. But pretty soon I will be, hopefully, getting a Can-Am, so, I want the Can-Am Sportsman, 450, maybe even the 550. It is a really nice four I will say. Got a gun in the back. And, and, and that is it. Just make sure you turn the key off. And another good thing to do is actually turn your gas off. Because mine will leak. Leaks the gas out if you don't. Which I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it does. Here's a little close-up of what the engine looks like. Pretty nasty. It needs to be power washed. Yeah. And this is actually... It's not too sketchy. Fifth gear. Yeah. You got headlights. That's headlights. And then the red one's your kill switch. And you got your throttle. That's how you start it. This button right there. Throttle over here. I think, I, I think I called that the choke, not the throttle. Key switch. Now that's the only difference with this model is that 
to put it in reverse is you turn that and then you shift down. Yeah, but Kawasaki Bayou is a beast. I really love it. Kawasaki's the best four wheelers ever, especially in dirt bikes. Well, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.